Hello and welcome to our Treble D Studio House series. In these tutorials we'll be showing you how to quickly create a professional 3D SketchUp model for a modern house, how to add and edit text. We'll work in the level 1 scene and enable text from the layers menu. Now just open up the group, select the text and the room size and rotate it. I'll select this dining text and flip it in the red direction. That will flip it from right to left and rotate it to suit. The kitchen text needs to be flipped and rotated. We don't really need this passage text. So I'll delete it. And just delete this out of shape bedroom text. And copy in the good stuff. Spin around the entry. I'll delete the word stair, we don't really need that and it's looking a bit crowded. We need to include the word studio, so we select the 3D text tool. Treble D uses the default text to Homer. The height of room names is 500 mil or 20 inches. The height of room sizes is 250 mil or 10 inches. Make sure extrude is unchecked and form is filled. Type in studio and place it on top of some existing text to get the right height. Then move it around to suit. We then go to the entity info box, select text and make sure that cast shadows and receive shadows are both unchecked. We then select the paint colour with the eyedropper, paint the new text and delete the old one. Now we'll move on to level 2 and enable the text and do some flipping. I'll just demonstrate how to use the component browser for text. We select the component browser from the Windows tab. Make sure we're in the in model setting by clicking on the little house symbol. Then scroll down and look for the word text stare. We then select it and place it in the model. We can place new text at the level of the other text or down at the floor level. Treble D text is placed 1200 or 4 feet above the floor. If you try to lift the letters off the floor you'll find that they're stuck, like SketchUp has actually glued the text to the floor. So we right click and select unglue, then you can move it around to where you want. And it's still a bit sticky but just persevere and we can lift it up off the floor. The unglue tip applies to a lot of SketchUp components including Treble D windows, fixtures and furniture 
quite often you have to select unglue to to get the object to move where you want it. Now we just paint it to suit and make the settings in the entity info box. If it's all too hard or if you just don't have the time, please feel free to contact us at Treble D. We have very modestly priced consultants who can help you out with construction drawings or any aspect of the design process. Cheers.